Bluetooth attacks. We hear about Wi-Fi risks all the time, but how safe is your Bluetooth connection? Tonight, the I-Team has a security warning about hackers finding more ways to infiltrate your devices. Consumer investigator Jason Knowles here tonight with the alert. Jason. Cheryl, Rob, we use Bluetooth technology to connect phones to other devices. It also makes it easy to send links and pictures. Now there is a warning. The I-Team is uncovering different Bluetooth attacks and how you can avoid them. First couple of seconds, we already have 73 different devices. Bluetooth devices popping up everywhere. Bluetooth connects devices over a radio frequency. We're here in suburban Oak Park, just people walking by. There's been over 150 devices in the past couple of minutes. Tech security expert Andrew Hogue from Now Secure showed the I-Team how Bluetooth devices can be at risk. He's using open source software, which is meant for IT departments to spot problems. But like anything, it can be misused. If they want to do a Bluetooth attack, they're going to try to find all those devices that are close by. They're going to click into that device. This is known as a Blueborn attack. Hackers look for vulnerabilities in smartphones and try to connect to them to try to steal your personal information. If they're able to connect a keyboard to your device, they now effectively have what we call as hands-on keyboard. And that's really what an attacker wants, so that they can use all of the privilege of your device but they're able to control it. To avoid that, always make sure to update your phone's software. Hackers could also try to gain access to cars, cameras, wireless earbuds, and medical monitoring systems. This scanner even found light bulbs that are Bluetooth connected. What if it's the lock to your house? What if it's your garage door opener? You should turn off Bluetooth pairing after you set up those devices and update software. Also, when naming your phone or device, don't use your name. If I'm an attacker, one of the things I want to do is come out there and look and see what devices are around me. And if it says Andrew Hoag's iPhone, I just learned some really important information. Also beware of blue jacking. That is when someone tries to send you a malicious link via Bluetooth, which can install malware or fish for information. They will just use the Bluetooth connection just to spam information to you. Security experts at NordVPN say that one click could compromise you. To protect consumers, Apple recently sent an automatic 10-minute limit on iPhone's ability to receive links and pictures from everyone or people not saved in your contacts via Bluetooth. And finally, watch out for blue snarfing. This is when your phone asks you if you want to connect to a nearby Bluetooth device. Experts say those devices could be traps set by scammers who want to dig. They could get uh, your contact list, your messages, but they also might uh, control different aspects of your car. If they could play a song that you don't like and played really loud. Hoag says you should treat all Bluetooth risks like you would a phishing email. Attackers are very creative and so there's lots and lots of different ways and they'll find the cracks and they'll get in and ultimately figure out some way to get to your bank account. That's right, the Bluetooth Special Interest Group says it provides developers tools to make sure Bluetooth devices are secure, and the group works with security experts to address vulnerabilities. Again, make sure you are always updating software. If your phone is old and can't be updated, you may have to get a new one. Mm -hmm. Cheryl, Rob, to protect yourself from many of these blue threats, you could just completely turn off your Bluetooth right. altogether. I know, Cheryl, you told us at right. 6.30 in our streaming <laughs> show that this is what you do. Right, absolutely. I don't use it very often. <laughs> and if I do, I use it, turn it right back off. Yeah, it's smart. So, and the software yeah. updates, you really hit that. Yeah. Update that software. Yeah. Easy things you can do. It really is. Really. Yeah. You right. know, but very concerning, though. Eye-opening. Thank you for sharing. Yep.